What's up Kdivas and welcome back to the channel this week. This is going to be a tutorial that was requested by one of you. In this video I'm going to be exploring and experimenting with the pointy sleeve shoulder detail. This is something I've never done before. It is really out there, really bold, really fun as well. And I'm going to be sharing how I develop my basic bodice and basic sleeve to create this detail. Now I'm just going to be sampling it on like simple calico, but I would say if you are making this for yourself, try and work with a fabric that has a little bit of structure and stability so it holds the form of the detail. It's also worth maybe adding some interfacing around that point so it really stays nice and sharp and it stands and grabs everyone's attention while you have the piece on. Now I'm going to leave any other relevant tutorials and links down below for you guys to check out as well. I'm going to also leave any references and research that helped me figure out this detail in the video description down below too for you guys to watch and see for yourself. Now if you'd like to see how I made this detail, how I figured it out, make sure to keep on watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And with that being said, let's get into this video. Before we get into this tutorial, I would just like to say that the article by The Shapes of Fabric was what really helped me figure out this sleeve design. They have an article where they talk about all kinds of different sleeve types and I'm going to link it down below for anyone who wants to check it out. I'm going to start off by working with the following patterns. I have my basic bodice, the front and the back. This one is the graded version which I have available on my store and it goes from size 6 to 16. I'm going to be working with a UK size 10 today. However, I have a dedicated tutorial on how to make a basic bodice block if you don't have one for yourself already. I'm going to be needing a basic sleeve. This one I have a separate tutorial for as well. You can also work with any commercial pattern in a basic bodice or a basic sleeve if you don't want to make one from scratch. Now, the first thing I've done here is I've traced off the top half of my basic bodice, transferred the notched points, the grain lines, as well as any other useful information I'll need. I did this for the front of the bodice, for the back of the bodice, and I also traced off the sleeve. Since this is just a sample, in terms of the fit, that's not really important. I just want to get the detail shape right and then if i'm going to be transferring this detail to a jacket a gown i sort of know how to make the changes on the main pattern when i'm ready to create the actual garment so now that i have the traced off bodice and sleeve patterns i'm going to start off with the sleeve to add on the point that this particular sleeve has now i have my basic sleeve here which i already added seam allowance to i have my notches indicating my front and my back and the first thing I'm doing in here is I'm adding some extra paper to the top of the sleeve head. If you've not already cut out your sleeve at this point, you can just leave some space on top of your pattern so you can plan the shape on top of your sleeve. Now I'm drawing a short horizontal line roughly two inches below my sleeve head. And then I'm going to be drawing a vertical line that cuts through the middle of that point and right through the middle of my sleeve. Now I'm going to be marking roughly seven inches upwards and this you can make higher or lower depending on how drastic you want the exaggeration to be. And I'm just connecting it back to the sides of the sleeve. Now one side is going to go on the front and the other side is going to go on the back. But it is important to actually measure how wide or how tall both sides of the triangle is because when you are doing this detail on the bodice the front and the back they have to match along those points so i'm just indicating the part size the front and the back as well as taking note of the exact measurements so this would make my life so much easier when i'm creating this same shape on the front and on the back bodice and i'm just going in here to cut off the excess so i have the triangle point added to my basic sleeve Next up, I'm going to adapt the bodices to add a similar shape along the shoulder. And I've already gone in to add the extra paper around the top of the shoulder or the top of the sleeve on this side because that's the direction that the triangular shape is going to be. Now, remember how we measured along the sleeve? You would essentially need to measure from the bottom of the sleeve edge since we're working on the front or measuring the front to the particular point where we drew that line because you want the triangular shape to follow the same direction. 
so however long or however wide that measurement is we need to mark it along the front arm curve and then i'm going to be drawing a slanted line that goes from that point to the very edge of the shoulder now this is how i think the shape is done i could be wrong but i'm just going to work with how i think it was put together next up i found the middle point of that slanted line and drew another slanted line that went in this direction and the bottom edge of the triangle should be the same distance as the top of that sleeve so whatever that triangular side of your sleeve head measured it should be the same distance on this point because you have to match in the sleeve hole and then this top edge is going to become the new shoulder seam so whatever it is on the front it should be the same on the back on the top edge and on the bottom edge it should match with the sleeve so now that i have the shape drawn in for the front of the bodice i'm just going in here to indicate what side goes into the sleeve which is the side with the notch and the side with the with the round shape is the side that becomes the shoulder seam and I'm just going to cut this out so I have the shape added onto my front bodice and this is what it's looking like. For the back bodice, you will need to repeat the same steps. So you need to add some extra paper so that allows you to add the triangular shape. Just remember on the back, you need to measure along your back sleeve and then mark the distance on the back arm curve. And then from that point, draw in your slant. Ensure that all of the points are indicated for what side goes into the sleeve and what side becomes the shoulder seam. Now, these are the patterns I ended up with. We have the adapted sleeve, the adapted front and back. I say if it's something you don't figure out the first time, don't get weary, don't get frustrated try again until it works i say it even took me two tries until i got to this point and i think i would even try this again maybe on an actual garment just so i have it properly figured out now i'm just going to go into test these patterns on some simple cutting i'm just cutting half of the bodice so half of the front and half of the back and then just once the just the tester everything fits and it works i'm also going to mark my notch points along the arm curve along the shoulder and any other important points that will just help me put this entire piece together the other thing i did was i ironed on some interfacing on the top edge and that would help to make the shape really stand strong and firm i did this on the bodice and i did this on the sleeve as well because the cotton does not have a lot of weight to really hold the shape of the detail now in terms of sewing i'm going to go in to join the shoulder seams first so i'm going to put right sides together of the front and the back and i'm going to just join the new shoulder seam and leave the armhole open to fit the sleeve I went ahead to iron the seam nice and flat so it is ready to be connected to the sleeve and for the sleeve I'm going to pin shoulder point to shoulder point and pin the front side of the sleeve into the front bodice and then match the back side of the sleeve to the back bodice. I feel like fitting sleeves like this is a little less tricky and less challenging you can also do it on the round which is when you join the bodies you join the sleeve and then you put them in like in a circular or triangular shape i'm just going in here to sew from one side and make my way to the top of the sleeve head and when i get to that point leave my needle in lift my footer and then turn the entire piece in this direction so i can join that side of the sleeve into that side of the bodice not forgetting to do my back stitch at the beginning and at the end now after doing this i'm going to open up the piece like so and put the side seams together so the side seams of my sleeve and side seams of my bodice and i'm going to be joining them together with one continuous stitch from the beginning when i get to that underarm area i sort of turn the piece in such a way that i'm able to sew down the side of the bodice or the sleeve depending on where you sat now i gave my piece a press and i put it on my mannequin and this is what it looks like now the first thing i would say is um, be mindful of the neckline so you don't sew too much into your neckline and reduce your neckline width 
besides that i think it's a really really avant-garde and cool detail to add onto a simple shape or silhouette it immediately just pulls your eyes in and i think it's a really cool detail i can't wait to see how this can be added on a jacket on a gown or as part of a suit set i think it would be really really cool but if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you'll be trying this don't forget to tag me at kim dave designs and until my next video have a good morning afternoon and evening wherever you are bye